Now, I brought some fresh okra the other day that I need to cook. So I am going to attempt to fry okra in the air fryer for the very first time. I was looking on YouTube, again, searching for, well, I was searching the internet actually, just doing my Google search. Found a couple recipes that I'm gonna like mesh together to make them my own. One thing was from Cooking with Doug. Um, he actually did fried okra in his air fryer. And then I'm gonna mix a little bit of what he did along with what I saw from Lazy Crazy Vegan or Cheap Lazy Vegan. Maybe Lazy Cheap Vegan. Oh, shucks, let me see if I left it up. Cheap Lazy Vegan. <laughs> so Cheap Lazy Vegan, um, she had actually did cauliflower. She did fried cauliflower in her air fryer. So I'm gonna kind of mix the two of their recipes together and figure out what to do. So, but first, I gotta get to slicing and dicing, at least slicing up this okra, and we will get to frying. So, I am going to be using fresh okra, not frozen, so I'll cut the tip here and the end here. They say about a fourth inch, so I guess I'll get about four or five pieces, if it's about this size, and I'm gonna season it up with probably some pink Himalayan salt, maybe some pepper, probably a little bit of lorries, Gonna, I'm planning to coat it with an egg first, and then I will uh, coat it with actual almond flour. So let's see how this turns out. <laughs> All right, I've cut the okra. Not a whole lot because it's only me to eat it, so I didn't do too much. I'm gonna crack an egg, whisk that up. Then I'll add um, a bit of almond flour to the baggie and get ready to batter it all up. Here we go. So I have the okra cut up into my little bite-sized pieces now. And I am going to take the egg that I mixed up. And I'm actually just gonna pour the one egg over the cut up okra that I have. I did put some seasoning on the okra. I did a little bit of onion powder, a little lorry seasoning salt, and a little bit of black pepper. And I put a little bit of pink Himalayan salt within my egg. So again, I'm just gonna pour the egg right on to here to do a little coating on there mix it around just a bit get everything evenly coated nice easy simple again my first time doing this so Fingers crossed that it turns out well <laughs> for me. I'm making this to go with some, uh, I had put some mixed greens and some ham hocks in the crock pot last night for dinner. So there will be mixed greens and fried okra. So again, nice, easy, simple, was able to get that coated up pretty good. Next, what I'm going to do, I added just a little bit of almond flour as you can see just a very little bit of almond flour that I will I'll put this in pieces in here and then I'll be adding that to the air fryer <laughs> stuff a couple pieces in and see what happens right I may need to put more almond flour I didn't want to use too much and like waste it you know when you used to have flour in the bag to fry up your chicken and then you have all the extra flour that you use for the next month and a half yeah, I was hoping not to do this with my almond flour. So nice, easy, simple. Got a nice little coat on it. Oh, can you see here? Yeah, nice little coat on it. So this will go into the air fryer. So I'll finish coating it and then I'll put it into the air fryer and we'll have it on 400 degrees for four minutes. So 400, de uh, 400 degrees for four minutes. So here's my air fryer. I have the Power Air Fryer Extra Large. Little copper insert. And on one of the uh, YouTube videos that I watched, again, I told you I watched Cooking with Doug and also Lazy Cheap Vegan to determine how to do this. On one of them, uh, he, the guy, he actually sprayed his fryer first. So 
I got a little, what is this, Pam olive oil spray that I'll just spray into here as a little coat. And then we will just add the okra to the basket and we will get to cooking. All right, here goes. Rinsing the leftover almond flour and egg from my finger. I guess I could have used, put more okra. I was afraid to put too much in here, but we'll see what happens with a little bit. Oh, ah, I have more in the bowl. I'm thinking I put everything in here. Well, this would be our, our test. <laughs> Look. I had this much more still left. I'm like, why was it only that little bit? Because I didn't put it all in. Oh well, this will be our first test. So again, I was told to do it on 400. For only four minutes. I told you I haven't used this much. So 400 temp for four minutes. Here we go. We'll see what we get in four minutes. <laughs> so at the two minute mark, I did pull it out and shake it just to see what's what. So we'll see what happens within these next two minutes. And since then I have added the rest to my baggie. And I'll get these floured up to go in for the next batch. So let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, not crunchy enough for me after four minutes. So I'm gonna put it in for another two. Let's see what happens. All right, down to the final moments. Waiting for the final ding. Almost. Hopefully they're crunchier than they were. At least the way they look. All right, there we go. Let's see. Oh yeah. Even hear a little crisp. And again, it's almond flour, so of course it's light in color. See, nice golden. Let me come down a little bit. Nice golden brown. And he smell real good. That would definitely be fried okra. Too hot to try though. I'm gonna put the rest of them in and then I'll try this later after it cools a little bit. I have the rest of the okra in the air fryer cooking now. So let's taste test one. Try to see if you can hear the crunch. It's good though. Fried okra. hot but it is tasty crunchy and good so okay I would fry okra again in the air fryer I definitely would not bad Not bad at all. And being fresh open. Thumbs up for sure. Definitely a thumbs up. Again, took a couple little pointers from cooking with Doug and 
cheap lazy vegan or lazy cheap vegan, one of the two. My season is simple. It's going to be good along with my greens and smoked ham hops. All right, until next time, folks. Take care. All right, I'm about to enjoy the okra and adding some of my Frank's Red Hot Sauce to it, right? You guys do that as well. Again, it tastes really good, like I said. And this is going to take it over the top. Yum, 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 yum. This would be delicious. Just a little bit of Frank's. Have a good night.